What's going on beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of the After You Cast. I'm sat down with a familiar face that like somebody <laughs> you guys have already seen. Indeed. Back again. Recently, recently. Yeah. And um, my bro. Thanks for bringing me back so soon, man. Appreciate pleasure. it. It's a pleasure, my pleasure. Bro. Yeah. But um, yeah, so quick one for the people. Um, I decided to kind of evolve the platform a little bit and I wanted to instead of just having um, a lot of new faces on mm-hmm. consistently, which it, which is fantastic because obviously you guys get to meet new people. Mm. I think it's also important that, you know, you get to see the people that really, you know, mess with, that mm. I really work with on a, on a real basis. And also just that consistency of like, yo, what you're up to, mm. catching back up. So, you know, stay tuned for that because what I'm going to try to focus on a lot more is bringing back people that have really been on the pod mm. and, um, you know, just getting more and more updates as opposed to like, let's just keep, Popping and finding new people all the time, as opposed to like building that real family. Mm, do you know what I'm mm, saying? So, mm. like, I definitely really think of you as one of that. that oh, family, no, I appreciate brother. that, man. Honestly, you know yeah, of course. I see that you as the same, man. Real talk. That's what I'm saying, man. It's mutual, yeah. brothers. Exactly. The ideas just flow when we're around Fam, each other. Trust me, it's natural, <laughs> isn't it? Like, see, this is the thing. Like, a lot of people, you might, you might be able to recognise this out there, but when you get around people that really, you know, speak your language and they understand where you're coming from, mm. um, it's important that you like, you really key in on that, you hone in on that, and like, you really showcase. That connection and yeah. make it a real thing. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Don't, don't let it sometimes just sit online as a you know I know that person through socials. I know that person through whatever. Mm. You know, actually go out and actually make the effort yeah. to like create real things. Do yeah, you know what yeah, I'm absolutely, man. So, I hear that. Makes sense. Um, to so yeah, what we're going to jump into today, we've got a few different talking points because mm. uh, obviously Calvin it comes from that you know that real creative side of uh, illustration, mm. visual art, and things like that. And I think it'd just be really good one to get your perspective on certain things that are going on world right now yeah and also um kind of just get a catch up and i want to highlight a really important talking point which i think um that you that people will really be interested in to hear so no more man yeah i'm ready let's delve in so let's jump straight into (laughs) it but before we do that yeah always like to be respectful yeah please introduce yourself for the people that don't know okay who you are my bro no problem my name is calvin ruin i am a scanning technician working vfx in film and I'm a freelance artist. So I do a lot of illustration, a lot of design, a lot of creative, <laughs> different aspects, man. Like, mm-hmm. I work in a lot of fields <laughs> when it comes to creativity, you know what I mean? So, Can't yeah. stay in one lane sometimes. Exactly, man. Right? I'm always branching out, looking for new avenues to be yeah. creative in. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's me at the moment, man. But would, you, would you say your baseline is more on the illustration side of things? Um, or like visual art itself? Because I know visual art can kind of get a little bit, you know, Illustrate, uh, definitely illustration and graphic design. Okay. Yeah, that's what I do um, freelance wise. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, job wise, mm-hmm. I work for a company called Clear Angle. Mm-hmm. As I said last time I was on my podcast, that's right. um, called, yeah, we specialize in 3D scanning mm-hmm. in the film industry cool. um, of like environments, props, and people. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's lit. That's lit. That's yeah. lit. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's jump straight into it because obviously, you know, me and you both work and had a chance an opportunity mm. um, a blessing to be able to work behind the scenes on yeah. um, in the film industry so yeah. I want to kind of get your idea of what your top five movies are Ooh. Top throwing five one movies. in there just okay I think it's interesting because you're going to get different answers from different people but yeah, yeah. kind of when you get that behind the scenes flex I know and a lot of people can speak on this like your perspective can change yeah, yeah, yeah. on terms of like what you appreciate and things like that so like, yeah. yeah man like, tell us what, what, do you, what do you think what's your, what's your top five Whenever I get asked this question, because I have been asked this question, like, what's my favourite film of all time? Mm, First film that comes... film? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's a hard one. I'll give you five, because I'm just like... I know, I know. That's that's good, because I... (laughs) <laughs> like it's, it, it varies, mm-hmm. but when because I break it down into um, genres, isn't it? Okay, yeah, that's fair. Because fair. for me, at least, films have to like tick certain boxes. You know okay. what I mean? But the film that like had me captivated, mm-hmm. and I wasn't even expecting it, mm-hmm. was Interstellar. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah. yeah. Have you seen Interstellar? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. That film, I think. The, that's, that's deep. I'm glad you brought that one up. Yeah. It that's was good. the it was the transition mm-hmm. from the farm to space to. You know, to galaxy, end. yeah, to and, the then, and then exactly, and then beyond, and then beyond, yeah, it's full loop. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it's mad. This, this is, I, I don't know how to explain it. Mm-hmm. It did something to my mind where mm-hmm. I, I wasn't expecting it to go. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I like that 
that that sci-fi element yeah. and the mystery element yeah. and the storytelling I think mm -hmm. the pacing was perfect yes it was yeah. I think the way they explained certain things like mm -hmm. you understood the science behind what was going on 100%. even though we ain't scientists and we ain't rocket scientists yeah it wasn't you know I mean? it wasn't so much science -y yeah in a way. exactly it was much more kind of like practical and logical yeah. things that kind of you could understand it was science with emotion behind yeah. it yeah because yeah. of the connection between like for those of you that haven't seen it mm -hmm. like it's a it's a it's a love story to be honest it's it a is. love story between yeah. a father and a daughter yeah but they're connected through time yeah like it's in a it's very a, deep way in a very deep way yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. it's it's crazy yeah. and it really goes full circle mm -hmm. and like the concept yeah of, like when you say full circle like time travel that is <laughs> like, literally the, that is the like, example and the epitome of full circle yes 100 percent. Like, it was just perfectly done yeah and it makes you what it does is like i think for me it kind of made me kind of when you get to the end of it yeah. it kind of like throws you back yeah You're kind of like wait so if that oh. happened then now you rethink everything yeah it's one of those movies like some of them are like you have to watch more than once yeah yeah, yeah. if you know what i mean yeah. like to kind of miss out certain key details and bro I, I didn't even go to cinema to see it i watched yeah. it at home and i was yeah. like I just when I was watching it, I was like, oh, "What is this film?" I didn't. I'll just slap it on. Yeah. When I say I was stuck to my TV, yeah, I was like, Them ones. the whole time yeah, I couldn't believe awesome. it. I was, yeah. I was so impressed with that film, yeah, man. Yeah, like, that that film is a quality film. In my cinematography is really well cinematography done as well. is amazing. The yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, um, I love all that kind of stuff as well. I think it's you know? Christopher Nolan that directed. I think it's yes, Christopher Nolan. I believe know? it is. I'll fact I check so. it. Yeah. Well, I think yeah, yeah, I think it's Christopher Nolan because he has that certain like specific style. It does. Yeah, it does. Same Nolan, Nolan is one of my favorites yeah. in terms of the directors. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. just got that, like you said, that unique style. You can see it in Batman. Yes, you can see it in like Superman. Movies. Everything. Like, it, yeah, that. Yeah, he's deep. He's yeah, deep. Nah, he's good. Man. So okay, so Interstellar. Yeah. Well, uh, so top in five. that top five. Yeah, yeah. This is no particular order, no but particular that that one was that's definitely fine. come like near the top three. Okay, cool, cool. That's fine. That's fine. There's gonna be no order. That's fine. Yeah, because it's hard enough to pick five. Yeah, it's for us. Yeah. Another deeper film, mm -hmm. Prisoners. Mm, okay. Have you seen that? Have you seen Prisoners? I don't know if you've seen it, but it's with Hugh Jackman, Terence Lawrence. No, I don't think I have actually. No. It's Is a, it more recent? No, nah, I would say within the last 10 years. Okay. Uh, maybe like 2015 uh, so or something like that. So it's been out for a while. 2015 okay. or something okay. like that. Okay. Basically, the plot of the film is this parent, mm -hmm. played by Hugh Jackman, mm -hmm. His daughter gets kidnapped, and he goes on a mad one to get the, to reclaim to, the, to find his daughter. Okay, and mm -hmm. I think I like that film because you know they the pacing again amazing of the film. Yeah, and it's a mystery film. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a really it's a thinker. Yeah, it's yeah, a it's really it think. makes your mind go to those places that you kind of don't want to go sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I think I really like those films that really play with your mind. Yeah. Because psychological thrillers. Exactly. And like that. Yeah, if yeah. that if you was in that scenario, would yeah. you do these things that yeah. he's doing? And I'm yeah. thinking, I'm not gonna lie, in in a lot of cases, yes. Yeah. Because he went quite dark with it. Like yeah. he had his suspicions mm -hmm. but and went that extra step because so the police weren't see. really helping man. I see. Do you know what I'm saying? I see. So he filled that void. He filled that void that yeah. you know what, I'm I'm gonna take mm -hmm. it into my own hands. Okay, you the man don't wanna back it, huh? Uh, yeah, exactly. So okay. say no more, do you know okay. what I mean? It's yeah, my daughter that's yeah, missing. Yeah, what Wolverine? Yeah. Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. This the only thing he didn't have was claws in yeah. the film because he was moving just like Wolverine. Fair, Real fair. talk, man. Fair. Like he was moving savage, and I, yeah. I'm, I kind of. It was a deeper film because there's a cop in it as well, and mm. I like how you know he's trying to figure it out and like the, t the detective yep. like aspect to it as mm -hmm. well. It just made your mind go places, and I I really appreciate that film, man. Okay. I think it was a really good film, like another I'm another that one brain. I like, definitely ain't seen that, but yeah, it just done something to me, man. I yeah. can't, I don't like. Right, well, that's good, though, man. Is if if it leaves you with something at the end, it's typically usually a good one. Exactly, so, like, yeah, exactly. All right, so prisoners. Cool. My third one mm. is, and this is an action film, and it might be a bit stereotypical, but it's Infinity War. Okay. Avengers mm. Infinity War yeah okay. 100% I think yeah. out of all the Marvel films I only wanted to slap one Marvel film in here I didn't want to put too many yeah because it gets a little bit techie exactly and I, I know Marvel's being like oversaturated right yeah, now yeah it's getting a bit mad, yeah, exactly but yeah. Infinity War is my yeah. top Marvel movie because yeah. again that film was yeah. non-stop action mm -hmm. throughout the whole film and I love action like yeah, I yeah. love action hey. but the scenes how they were directed and mm -hmm. you know that's the difference between like Infinity War and let's say um I don't know the latest Thor movie which I've seen 
like you know the action wasn't really there and I like to see the interaction between these characters as well do you know what I mean there was I know a, what you mean. like the back and forth the engagement like exactly the, a, a bit of a strife or do you know something what I mean? going on yeah. it's a lot it's the first time we saw a lot of these characters interact as well do you know yeah, what I mean yeah, like I get you, I get and these are characters I've grown up with mm -hmm. and yeah man it, the way it was portrayed, them, yeah it was yeah. just it was just wicked it was like watching like some it was like watching Dragon Ball Z in in, in live action okay cool yeah, that's how I would imagine it because yeah, some yeah. of the scenes were just so epic. Yeah, like I, I yeah, you yeah, can't I even you contemplate. Like, I know what you mean. It was just like grand. Everyone yeah, was big. I like how my imagination gets outdone sometimes, and I, I, I before films have actually been released. Yeah, I always come up with scenarios on how they could be filmed in, like you know, in practicality. Okay, like cool. before yeah. it's even released, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now like, how they actually did things. Yeah, yeah, how they did things yeah. and how they will do certain shots mm -hmm. and like these characters that I know it in the film, how they're gonna react and yeah. But that film far exceeded my expectations okay. do you know what I mean those ones that's caught you off guard. caught me off guard yeah you know what I mean yeah. mm -hmm. caught me off guard like a lot of Marvel movies lately I'm like underwhelmed with yeah it's a little bit watered down exactly it's a little bit like the, but that film it's spreading the butter real yeah. thin isn't it? yeah but yeah yeah, yeah. Nah, there's some that just stand out that film stand out okay, cool. and I don't know if it was because the, all the characters came together but mm -hmm. the Russo brothers directed it mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I think my top three Marvel movies came from them, mm -hmm. but that is my favorite one, okay. 100. All right, lit. So, so Infinity. Cool. Yeah. So number four. Number four. Oh, yeah. I know you've seen this one. Mm -hmm. Coach Carter. Oh. Yes. Damn. I think when I'm looking for inspiration, that's a deep one as well. I think that I, that film reminds me of my childhood and mm. like. You know that film everyone needs a coach car man. yeah and you know what's funny i feel like everyone kind of gets one in a certain way yeah to a certain extent it may not be in like sport directly like in the movie yeah. obviously as a basketball coach for anyone doesn't know mm. um but just the life skills yes the, the the preaching of certain things that you need to know for people who maybe don't have it but it's the care you know i yeah. think it's the care because yeah. the, as you can see in the film the teachers didn't really care for the right. students like yeah. they just wanted them to play basketball exactly. but he yeah. wanted them to go f so much further he was more a teacher than he, a teacher exactly do you know what i'm yeah. saying he was a coach he was, but a, he really, was a he wasn't life really a coach. basketball coach in a way that's, no that's the matter he was a father to them yeah do you know what i'm saying yeah. I, I can appreciate that mm. because i didn't really have my dad in my life and i think that film hit me more because it was like someone that really wanted to see them succeed do you know what i'm saying so I mean, it's, it's personal it's personal it yeah personal. that one i think that one comes from like a deeper place yeah. with me one like it just hit me differently and obviously coach carter was um, portrayed by samuel jackson as mm -hmm. well like do you know what i mean and yeah, amazing big, actor i got to meet him as well like he's such legend. a such a legend man. yeah like, real talk 100 yeah. percent. yeah that's a big legend, amazing like, film. we might get into that story one day like but yeah. i don't know maybe that's patreon content yeah <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Get into that, but, um, <laughs> but yeah i was just gonna add as well bro um God. Yeah, like Coach Carter for me, mm. it was like I kind of saw that in, you know, I was quite lucky to have like good role models in terms of men around my family, obviously from my dad and uncles. Yeah, yeah. But extended when I was in the States. Yeah. Um, there was a coach I had, um, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Coach, coach Sam Carter. Yeah. yeah it's actually, uh, oh, mad. That's a bit ironic. <laughs> yep. And yeah. it was like, <laughs> it was so funny, bro. It mm. felt honestly like being in the presence of like Coach Carter from watching really? the movies. Like, He's a big. He's an ex-marine. Yeah. And um, he did basically our, like our PT training yeah, yeah. for like um, workouts and things like that. Yeah, yeah. And just embodied that same like die-hard mentality mm. of like teaching you principles. But there, it was like what I really appreciated was your perception of him based off of his size yeah. is just that he's going to give you all of the motivational discipline hard bits you need yeah. but he maybe isn't going to give you the important bits behind yeah. him yeah. but that was the opposite uh -huh. very much like you know Coach, Coach Carter, Carter. Yeah, 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 it was yeah, very yeah. much like you know he, he cared a lot more about like your body how you're treating yourself mm. how's your mind uh, what's your mentality like so it, it was more on that real like holistic package mm. of like coaching and yeah. that's why I said that you know everyone kind of needs that type of coaching in the world whether they meet them through family or yeah. not like there's that, there's usually that one teacher that one coach yeah. that you meet in the world that kind of gives you that little inspiration yeah, yeah, yeah. bit of tough love mixed in do you know what I'm saying so, yeah yeah absolutely yeah, now that's a good one coach Carl okay right. and then so final final one final one I had to chuck this one in there because obviously mm -hmm. with my field mm -hmm. I like animation and stuff like okay. that you know what I mean yeah yeah so had to had to get one. honorable shout out for the animate animations this one when I saw it I was like yeah they did that right and I like that it was like black culture as well okay. it's spider-man into the spider-verse oh, okay. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. that one there i was yeah, yeah. like 
this is a great film mm. like not just an animated film it's yeah. actually a great, great. film mm. like they just smashed it Anima yeah. the animation style as well yep. like I could appreciate it from an artist perspective you know what I mean like yeah, I that one there as well just hit me differently and yeah. like the storytelling I like the fact that they they took up um, Miles Morales his um, storyline mm -hmm. he's the second Spider-Man yep. and obviously right. he's black as well yep. so it, ha it kind of had that like hood feeling yeah. but it's a superhero movie yeah, 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 and yeah, it was yeah. inspirational and it was great like yeah, yeah, yeah. from start to finish it was just good it's that cultural exploration isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Sense. And I that's, what, that's what I like that's what I love about like um, superhero movies and animation mm. is that um, you really can delve into like cultural things mm. yeah. in a unique way because it's you take the realism away yeah. you kind of allow more people to like tap in to yeah. the message because sometimes when it's a realistic portrayal mm. you kind of like stuck on like what they look like mm. you like I just can't get past the fact they look like this and I don't like <laughs> yeah, that yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in animation, it's kind of like, it takes it away from that and it's yeah. kind of like, just focus more on like the story. Mm. Focus more on what's being said. Like, it's not realistic mm. to an extent. But this but one was a really is. good film story-based as well. Yeah. Like, narratively, yeah. I think it was really strong. It, yeah. it was funny. Mm -hmm. Animation style was amazing. Pacing yeah. was good. Yeah. Like, I can't really fault it and that's why I was just like this has to be in my top 5 Fair. I can't lie like, I like that yeah it was amazing no like, I like I've always been a bit of a Spider-Man I'm a bit, a bit more of a Batman fan but yeah like, yeah 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 Spider-Man I've always loved just because you know I think the storyline and it's also the uh, the villains yeah as well yeah yeah, yeah kind of make up and that there's a city it's, it's um, relative yes you can, you can yes. recognise parts of it yeah, so yeah, it yeah. has that kind of relativity to mm -hmm. it so like yeah for sure it's relatable man. kind of man because Spider-Man Spider-Man just here on the streets man. do you know what, what I mean saying, it's like us like getting super superpowers He's the, he, ain't, he ain't rich. Nah. He ain't like he ain't come from like the space or something. He's, nah, he's born like, up in Brooklyn. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Right. jump straight out of his apartment window, straight exactly. on, straight on, beef. exactly, exactly, <laughs> straight, straight on, on the, crush, straight <laughs> out the window. Yeah. That's mad. Yeah, man. So nah, yeah, that's, that's my good. top five. Man. Nah, I like that. I yeah. like that. That's a good list. Yeah. That's a good list. Um, yeah. All right, cool. I was gonna do top five TV shows, but Ooh. I think that's a little bit of an expansive one. I yeah. think maybe save that for another one. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> I'm just thinking the top of my head. I'm just like, yeah, that one takes a little bit more thought. But yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get Say to that. that. Got a couple of news trend stories. Mm. Just pull these up because uh, I thought there was just a couple of them were kind of interesting. Go and on. Um, so, I just want to get your kind of opinions, perspective on, it. perspective on it. Yeah. Um, things that are currently going on out there, you guys can research the articles and stuff. I'll maybe put like a little link or a name up there, headline for the title. Go on. But um, yeah, basically, this one's circulating around. Yeah. Fitness fanatic Grand manager says stop filming your workout yeah so essentially what the whole article was getting around is um, you know and this is something that's quite current right now and that's why mm -hmm. I thought it would be cool to bring up we're both in the gym mm -hmm. um, she's basically a I think the lady's in her 50s yeah uh, I'll double check age but yeah she'd be in her 50s and um, she's in shape mm. working out bodybuilding influencer yeah influencer on her game yeah and utilizing the social media utilizing the trends and stuff so it's, a, it's one of those to and fro ones right now yeah. because you've kind of got like public gyms mm -hmm. which kind of have a mix of audience yes. you've got a mixed crowd mixed clientele so you've got some guys that are like on the social media wave the younger crowd yeah. people that are now becoming like YouTubers all that sort of stuff yeah. but then you've also just got regular Joe and Tom from down the road Yeah. so what's your initial thoughts on this like in general how we kind of tackle this issue of like privacy in like regular gyms and that because it's, it's a bit of a techie one I think pe people film all the time in gyms but I think that if you're interrupting other people's workouts with your kind of you know videography and trying to capture whatever you're doing mm -hmm. then it becomes a problem okay yeah. like, as long as you're not disturbing anyone then mm -hmm. it shouldn't really be an issue True. But you have to respect people's privacy at the same time as well. Because if they don't want to be in videos, yeah, yeah, then yeah. certain man be putting out the tripods. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, getting in people's ways and yeah. stuff. If you're, if it becomes a tripping hazard, yeah, then it's already long. Yeah, Weights are uh, like you know, gyms are already dangerous as it is. Fact. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you drop a true. weight on your head, that's it. That's yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like yeah, as long as you're respecting people's boundaries, it shouldn't be an issue. That's yeah. why I like pure gym because pure gym, mm -hmm. you know. It's 24 hours, you can go late at night and not really have many people in there. True. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. if you need to film your content or whatever, mm. then go do it late at night. Don't do it in the busiest hour, like what, six, yeah. five, Definitely six Definitely don't in go between afternoon. four to seven, allow it. Allow it, yeah, there's no slow. point. Because then if you're doing it them times, then I understand why managers will be like, like you're kind of it's taking the mic, you know what I mean? Essentially, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, it's like exactly. if he's on the train 
and like you know you know it's ram at yeah. five yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it's ram and yeah. you're just trying to squeeze yourself on exactly. and the door's about to close do you know what I mean it's like come on man just wait for the next and here you are trying to like pull your tripod out and exactly you know what I'm saying yeah and ain't no one want to do I'm already ready waiting for the bench and now yeah. you've got your tripod up <laughs> next to me like oh come on man like. it's bad enough with the phones and that yeah man. it's not even no, yeah. no, that, that is a good one but yeah. I thought of it just as a perspective because it's like you, you know some social influences and maybe this is something that we're going to see more into the future I mm. think there's going to be talks and conversations about like uh, more different types of gyms that yeah. pretty much only have probably like influencers and people that are, or people that sign up to agree to want to you know do certain things okay, stuff okay. Like that, you know what I mean that could be a shout that could be a shout because they do bring you can imagine it does bring business yeah like if you've got somebody who's got, got a couple of people in the gym that got a few hundred thousand followers on their profile true. or whatever could be good promo true, for the gym true so. true one of them ones but yeah you'll get figured out we'll yeah get figured yeah, out yeah. Time. 100% but, yeah I just thought it was interesting just mm. see your thoughts on it um, that is so next one go on we got 50 Cent to star in a horror film yes. called Skill House and it's going to be about social media and culture mm. and I thought this one kind of just stood out because one 50 Cent <laughs> Big 50 yeah you know what I'm saying like shout out Big 50 you know what I'm saying I wonder where what Listen, kind of avenue oh, they're going down wait, before before we get into this Go I can still never get over that beef of him and Floyd ah oh, that was the, was that not the most legendary um, battle that was just funny <laughs> if you ask me <laughs> that about the counting the numbers yeah but. That was just funny. It was just back and forth for the longest on socials <laughs> as well. Hilarious, hilarious. Just... But yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I, I'm kind of curious as to where they're going to go with that film. Yeah. Because... So, and it's horror as well. That's the thing. I'm thinking... Is it with horror, horror? It's a different one. Because we ain't seen him in that. One. We ain't seen him in no horror no, film before. like that. Two... I'm trying to figure out, like... Because horrors are hard, man. Like, to really execute a good horror, especially now, like... You know what? My first thought comes. Mm. He's playing... Mm someone that is like hunting down people from social media or something oh, like yeah. that and yeah i yeah, don't know like i don't know you don't see 50 in a mm. soft role yeah yeah it's yeah, 50 it's cent true. yeah you know got, what i mean he's got to play some type you, of baddie you're, you're not going you're passive. not going to put 50 in a vulnerable role yeah do you know what i mean or yeah. where like people are coming after if people are coming after him yeah it's either going to be some hood guys yeah. or some yeah, corporate yeah, shit. Some, right, yeah do you know what i mean he like, might be the final boss do you know what i'm saying <laughs> in the like, skill house <laughs> yeah i don't know I, i'll be interested to see where they go with that one yeah i wonder if they're going to try and do like realistic horror kind of like you know mm. the jordan pills is trying to step into those kind of legs of horror or, maybe or if he's gonna because if maybe say he cast tries to get jordan pill to direct it yes yeah. I don't know. That I don't know. Be a shout, I, I, didn't, I didn't know who to direct in it or yeah. anything. But perhaps I could be a lane to go. Yeah, that... it's a new way of thinking, isn't it? Like just because I think I see that uh, Paige Van Sant's going to be in there. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously mixed martial arts. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. yeah. Um, you, you can see a lot more now, and this is obviously one point: is that social media and like just social influences in general. You're starting to see them like creep into like positions that were like unfamiliar territory. If you yeah. want, it's like these places where, regard, they were thespians yep. true artists that you know private institutions yep. now it's like if you're just a big enough influencer with a name you can get in the starring role in a film look at King Batch do you know what I mean look at um, Logan Paul like we said like loads of different people YouTubers mm-hmm. Mo- Vine people Mo- like, you know, Moda Comedian like, doing really well these but naturally you would want to if you if yeah, yeah, me yeah. and you let's yeah, say true, for, ex- for example true. we blew up on podcast or whatever yeah, yeah? Mm-hmm we're going to want to be if we could be actors you're going to take the opportunity it's one, yeah. that's just hands down you know <laughs> what I mean true. Like, it's true it's one of those ones that you it's a natural transition yeah. I think you know yeah. what I mean you yeah, do those yeah, things true. because you want to be seen yeah so now yeah. you've got the opportunity to be you're yeah. going to take it as far as you can that's, that's true do you know what I mean that's a good point so you yeah, I think if you're ca- seeking it out, it's kind of like you're kind of already in that lane to a certain extent. Yeah, it's just you're yeah. maybe not in that you know specific field like TV and film. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. You could get there, especially if it, it just kind of, but it helps you to kind of alleviate certain certain. Hurdles. Yes, I was going to say that because obviously it's not to say that they're the most talented, no, but it's yeah. to say that you know they are seen a lot. Yeah. So the right people will see them. That's right. The presence. You know I mean? And then also you got to remember that. Uh, it's a business at the end of the day exactly. like we're trying to sell and even though it's not so much like bums on seats in cinemas anymore it's still about like the streaming records the numbers how you doing on very true you, they're only gonna like, cast big actors like Samuel Jackson mm-hmm. like the Leonardo DiCaprio mm-hmm. in films because they know people go to watch their films Yeah, a lot true, of people yeah, went yeah. to see the new Top Gun because of Tom Cruise yeah. do you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. and, not, and you had the older crowd as ex- well ex- exactly so loads of people you know like my dad's age generation they were like yeah I'm gonna watch the new Top Gun it was really good yeah 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 
right. you're going to see right. it because it's Tom. If it wasn't Tom Cruise, mm. that film wouldn't have got half the amount of traction yeah, it did. No do you know chance, what I mean? No chance. So it is names do bring in like yeah. they have value on those names. Yeah. People go to see every Samuel Jackson film. Yeah. People go to yeah. see every Denzel Washington yeah. film. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's true. It's yeah, true. So there are those that that's that, that little cluster of guys that like it's fans. They step on a movie. It's yeah. just like the movie's almost made. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like now it's just down to whether or not you like it mm. that much more than their others. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? But you know if they've stepped on it it kind of just like ping people's attention just like yeah. peeps up so yeah, yeah no, that's a good point 100 all right. social media definitely is influencing the game yeah. it's changing the game oh 100% We're seeing all kind of different people getting this everywhere. mate social media has come a long way just in the time that we've been alive Facts. like I think you know obviously we, we came from a time where we were messaging on MSN Facts. We, you know Bebo. I mean Bebo Listen, MySpace well, you know. in it bring back Bebo original like system in it, bring back the original, used to original send love. Insta. Used to send Set love. Love, it went and likes. You, you had a love. minimum of three loves. That's it. You could have gave a day. Imagine that. Me giving that love away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? You're trying to move to girl and that. <laughs> and they were like, you know what? I'll give you all three of my love <laughs> today. Listen. But tomorrow. It's special. <laughs> then tomorrow, I got you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nah, nah, Bebo, when you think back to it, the concepts of that were yeah. they were there from early. Yeah, that's but true. people went that's and true. took it the extra mile with like Instagram and stuff like yeah. that, giving people unlimited likes puts yeah. value on certain things. Yeah. So that's why you know people actually put value on the amount of followers you have, that's the true. amount of likes you get on the pictures and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a thing that we had from our childhood mm -hmm. that hasn't been switched off. It's been amplified. Yeah. It's Do you know what I mean? Like supply and demand. Exactly. It? Exactly. It's kind of like they've turned supply and demand in a basic business uh, business concept. Yeah. into everything yeah. social media uh, entrepreneurship different things so it's kind of like if, you, if you're not paying attention to like the supply and the demand mm. like you can get lost for a little while it's been I yeah. think it's been detrimental in some ways though yeah I agree it, like I feel I like agree. obviously we know that you know sex sells and stuff like that it does and I feel like a lot of people are just trying to you know show their bodies now and stuff like that just to get traction and yeah. likes and stuff you know what I mean yeah. like, like, men, men sell status it's like women sell like the, the elements of like their sexuality exactly they know that it's, a, it's an easy route for both yeah. parties man them are showing off bottles yeah. watches yeah. this that and the other and then girl are just showing off their bodies yeah it's, yeah, it's, it's, an, easy it's, sell. it's an easy sell an yeah. easy way to chop if you can like make money off it do you know what I mean like, it, is, it is and it's becoming it's a, it, like it was a time mm. you know our parents generation grandparents generation they scorned upon mm. you know what I'm saying but like that's why I think that like, we're living in that transition period of like people are trying to rationalise it yeah. others are like yo that's maybe not the right way to do it yeah. we're in this weird back and forth of like you know, generations and new ways of thinking so it's kind of like you know which one's eventually going to we're biting heads yeah. we're yeah. biting heads 100%. and I'm not going to like I'm more traditional yeah. so yeah, it, it is kind of <laughs> yeah. same, bro. do you know what I mean like, like, that's the way you raise, isn't it like, exactly you can't, you can't hate on it like you're, you are there are certain intrinsic things that are embedded into you from mm. a young age from like you know family yeah. and things like that but at the same time it doesn't doesn't take you away from being able to be a you know a respectable human being yeah, no, and appreciate people's differences exactly you know? but exactly. I do think there's that a fine line where you have to like hold your corner yeah no so like, we've been taught like, like, like hold your corner yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you know if you don't believe in it that's fine you don't have to speak exactly it, don't like, push your your thoughts and your beliefs onto me yeah and I won't do the same to you but yeah. I can respect where you're coming from and just respect where I'm coming from yeah simple as that's what I mean just move and move yeah but, um, yeah no, I like that bro um so final one before we jump into the juiciest of the topics go on return on imagination which i thought was kind of just an interesting spin obviously on return on investment yeah and um it was relating to creativity and like basically the article highlighted four things that you that separate people mm. in general so um i believe that one of them was uh, work ethic um another one was like uh, getting your creative ideas out um i can't remember what the other two were but Essentially, I wanted to just kind of not really focus on those and I wanted to get your opinion on what you would consider, you know, it doesn't have to be four, but what would you consider your top things mm -hmm. that you see that kind of separate people when it comes to creativity and like imagination yeah. and kind of get a return on your imagination. Turn on your imagination. I, mm. To be honest, I like that phrase. Yeah, it's like, it's, <laughs> yeah that's what like, I thought. It stood out to me. I was like, mm. yeah. If okay. a turn on imagination, it's it's about making that imagination. How how physical can you make that imagination? Um, yeah, and like okay. time spent on it. Okay. I would say time is a is a crucial one. Okay, so hundred percent. Time, time invested. Yeah, okay. a time invested. I feel like you you can have an idea, mm. but if you're not spending enough time making that practical, you're not going to get far with it. I hear that. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. we can, and you know, you can only spend a certain amount of time on side ideas that are you know 
everyone's got bills to pay. Yeah. We have our jobs yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you having be a, realistic. Exactly. Having your side yeah. hustle is important. Yeah. And having that goal and that purpose. Mm -hmm. But it's how much time are you dedicating to it? Because mm -hmm. I think that's something that separates a lot of people. Yeah. The people that are that are finishing their jobs mm -hmm. and then going and doing five hours mm -hmm. after work yeah. on their purpose. Mm -hmm. That is separating for those that do an hour of work. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Naturally, it, yep. it is. It's and it's evident because yeah. you. We wonder how these people are doing so much. It's because they ain't sleeping. Uh, a lot of them yeah. aren't. Sleep I know they're sleeping. Yeah. But they ain't sleeping as much yeah. as they should be. Yeah. Do you they're know what sleeping, I mean? but they're not sleeping. There's like two forms of sleep, isn't it? Yeah, so it's yeah. Like their sleep is like that sleep where it's comfortable sleep, and then there's that sleep because I just need to get a couple hours into it. Exactly. Back to their minds are constantly working, and they're yeah. constantly dotting down something to do with their business plan, yeah. Yeah. their their purpose. Do you know what I mean? Constantly. I think Involving. Exactly, and I think that in that investment mm -hmm. on your imagination yeah, yeah. is what will make the difference mm -hmm. in the long run. Do you okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can have the idea, mm -hmm. you can you can manifest it in your mind, but you need to put in that effort as well. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Graft. Yeah, that makes and sense. I think that comes with time. Okay. Absolutely. So it's like repetitions in the yeah. gym. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's repetition. True. How much times you do something, yeah. you're going to become stronger at it naturally. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that's true. Yeah. So you time know. invested. You say one is the key one. We'll give, give us another one. Okay. Um, give, just give us two. So yeah. Know, time invested, very very important. Yeah. Uh, what we say another one? Is Investment on imagination. Mm. <sighs> Man, I'm not gonna lie. This is a it's a hard question, but mm. it is. Isn't it? Because I'm, I'm trying to relate it to me yeah. more so than anything else. Yeah, I think that's good. Like, I think that's yeah, good. Cause, you know, if it relates to you directly, because yeah. then somebody will relate to you yeah. as well as a person. So, yeah, because yeah, I, I, obviously I mentioned time because that's something that I feel like I need to dedicate more to. Yeah. I'm thinking of another aspect that I could dedicate more to. Mm. Research. Mm. That research. Is research I think, planning. Yeah, I think kind of res yeah, yeah, research planning. Yeah. I think that that goes a long way because mm. sometimes you become stagnant mm. and you become what's the word you just become procrastinating that's it oh, sorry sorry yeah, yeah, no, procrastinating good. Good. yeah you're procrastinating yeah. a lot and yeah that's a big one gets a lot of people now. do you know what I mean and I feel like it gets me yeah you yeah, want to do something but you haven't planned what you're going to do mm. so unless you have the map mm. you're free roaming do you know what I mean? Yeah. You need to yeah. know where you're and going. Well. Exactly. I'm gonna yeah. say tomorrow I'm doing this. Yeah. Yeah. That way, when that time comes, I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. If I'm saying, if I'm just saying, oh, you know what? I'm in that mood to go draw something. Yeah. I could be drawing anything, but if I have a plan, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It can it can manifest into something else because you're doing step by steps, and it's like is picking at, is carving away. Like we said on the last po podcast, man, you're carving away at the person you want to be. Do you know what That's I mean? It. Like, it's, if it's a block of clay, yep. you want to find that individual within it. Yeah. That is the new you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's just carving away. Strip away the stuff that... You that, that you don't need exactly yeah. because that's what comes with procrastination and becomes mm -hmm. the useless stuff mm -hmm. it becomes the the wasting time yep. you know what i mean it Facts. all it's all full circle and i think yeah. that investment there mm -hmm. in organization mm -hmm. is what will separate you mm -hmm. in the long run 100 like percent. So i like that planning research time and investment basically. yes you know, yeah. that's 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 really good and i think sometimes it's good to have it just easy like that yeah because yeah. it just makes it easy for the people to absorb yeah, yeah absolutely like, absolutely away, man. like key takeaways you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah yeah that's exactly why i want to work out because mm. i know probably everyone will have a different perspective on what works for them but yeah those i think will just are uh, ideal for most people to have yeah, yeah, yeah you need to recognize that like the amount of time you invest into projects mm. is important however like you said if you don't research into what you're investing your time into exactly. it could be wasting time do you know what i'm saying and then it's that and then there's frustration and all the other stuff comes with it too so it's like yeah yeah plan and invest the time yes and then come back review and yeah. then see what i've gone and then you can kind of move from there exactly so, yeah no i like that i like that go on so let's jump into the main conversation yes which is what i wanted to talk about with you which is special effects versus visual effects when it comes to tv and film okay yeah yes yeah, yeah. obviously i know that you're building up your your portfolio you're getting you're doing really good work yeah out there and um, with your company yeah and obviously independently doing your own like creative stuff illustrations and visual art but i was able to notice as well coming from that you know the sfx side of things yeah. special effects that there's a divide yes now this is something that i obviously didn't really realize yeah because like, you know when you watch movies for the most part anyone who's out there watching you know 
like CGI mm -hmm. and all of the effects that we actually see. I always thought that originally was just one big department. Oh no, no, and no, sir. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That yeah. is something that I had to learn because you know coming into the field and yeah. knowing where you are going to be positioned and knowing where you're most effective mm. i always kind of considered them as one big group and then they broke off into departments yeah. whereas they're kind of two different absolutely conversations yeah for those for those of you that don't know like sfx is more practical yes and vfx is obviously virtual yes so let's say for example we're watching fast and furious and a car blows up that's mm. sfx yep Whereas if you see Iron Man flying, that's VFX. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of, at least for me, mm -hmm. it's using it appropriately. Okay. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where you need it, you should use SFX. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Obviously, I know that, see, SFX can can cause more hurdles. Like yeah. like I said with... Okay. Um, yeah, like there's more pro more safety exactly more, there's more, more there's more effort that you have to put into that yeah whereas yeah. if you wanted something visually done you just need to set up a blue screen yeah. shoot the shot mm -hmm. and get a vfx artist yeah. a couple of vfx artists to work on it yeah. do you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. whereas with obviously sfx mm -hmm. you know there's a whole safety thing yeah you know you need to rent out location yep. do you know what i'm saying you need to do certain things get the shot perfectly the one time because yeah. you can't be blowing up multiple nah, cars we ain't got time for that. exactly do you yeah. know what i'm saying you're getting this one time that's explosives it explosives and charges exactly Exactly. So there's that there's there's that danger aspect, and I feel like, mm. but mm. it's I think it's good. Yeah. I think that for film to be as realistic as possible, you need that, and yeah. I feel like I some films some films use VFX way too much mm -hmm. and need to come back to using SFX yeah. because it doesn't feel natural anymore. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's that's why I said it's picking and choosing when you need it yeah. and using it where it's actually right to be. Do yeah. you know what I mean? In its right location and in its 100%. right place. Well, see, the thing is as well, I'd add to that, mm. is that what I find as well is that because technology is advancing so quickly, it's yeah. almost like we don't really need to have to like over exaggerate certain things that we know are already going to look good with, yeah. with the quality we have now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, like, I think that healthy balance between the two yeah. is, is ideal. It's almost like a sandwich. Yeah, yeah, you know absolutely. I, mean? I don't think you can kind of have one without the other mm -hmm. because the way that um, you're hands on mm. in SFX in terms of building things, uh, moving things, having production, setting up things and breaking things down, I think that that is very important. To, yeah, yeah, not yeah. just for the, um, the aspects of the movie, what you're building, but also for the uh, atmosphere on set. Think about the actors as well. If you can physically see something, you mm. can. It's better for them. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's actors. We, in the, in the reality. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's also to... helping them as well. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. they can react to something actually blowing up yeah. rather than not seeing yeah. it and just having to act. Because there's I certain mean, things you can't fake, right? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? That, that initial sh that's, that initial shock. Yeah. You can't really fake. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But. You know, you know, hats off to actors because some of them yeah. are really talented and they can get away with stuff yeah, like that. But yeah. I feel like, yeah, being, I'm trying to think, mm. like, imagine Fast and Furious, mm. all VFX. So that's, mm. have you ever seen this film Speed Racer? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you remember Speed Racer? Oh, hey, shout out, that's my roommate from college, it's one of his favourite movies. I'm not going to lie, Speed Racer, growing up, was a hard film. Yeah. Like it's a it was I was just like, oh imagine cars move like this. Yeah, like, yeah. So if you can if you compare Speed Racer mm -hmm. to Fast and Furious, mm -hmm. you know, like they're two different things. Yeah, they completely, are completely do you know what I mean? Yeah. Fast and Furious, we can relate to that. Yeah. As if um, like a speed racer true. you can't yeah do you know what I mean? true it you takes can't. you to another place so exactly it's, it's, it's cool like, to see yeah we can't it's not relatable no nah. no like, can't like, like, like avatar yeah yeah yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like amazing but avatar's but different see? it is because it's human it's, it's like embodying um beings or people or yeah avatar kind. avatar goes with that sci-fi aspect of yeah. us in the future and obviously you know we ain't there yet true but that is that's a true. possibility that is true I mean? that is true us will, finding yeah, us finding a you know civilization yeah. on another planet yeah one day could be practical yeah do you know what i mean we that won't actually true. need visual effects for that but mm. what i like about avatar is that obviously you know um who's the is it james, james, cameron? james cameron it's james cameron right mm -hmm. yeah um they spent like 10 years on that film. Yeah. Five, yeah, 10 years on that yeah, film. It's crazy. Since they started, mm -hmm. I think, filming it. And he's notoriously just like, he's on, man. Yeah. He's not messing about. The visual effects on that yeah. film is crazy. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, like, yeah, it's unbelievable. There's, it's, there's no competitor when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. Not at all. No, I, I don't think so. No. no I don't and that's so. why I feel like this maybe, new one is going to be. Maybe we might get to that kind of quality, maybe like gaming. Like yeah. renderings and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you've got yeah. Some, some games and stuff that are really high monitor, high resolution games and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, now in terms of movies, like 
you can see the time invested, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then in, in Avatar, nothing is as, as effects. Yeah, no. Do you know no, what no, I mean? No, no, it's all... It's all, it's all just... Blue screens. Blue screens and exactly. like suits and, and lights and exactly. cameras and probably a lot of rigs. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. a lot imagine. of rigging. Like scanning. Imagine. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah, Lord. yeah. Good yeah. Lord. yeah, yeah. My company didn't scan for our time, but if we did, we would have been busy. Listen, yeah, I yeah. can imagine. I yeah. can imagine. But yeah, like I said, that, that is one talking point. Because like, I, I did notice that kind of like that divide between on set. Yes. It was just kind of like guys who were in SFX were just quite different mm. to the VFX guys and it was just like knowing when and where things needed to be used it's still kind of like being figured out yeah do you know what I'm saying but it helps as well because I feel like let's say for example you know something something happens to an actor during filming mm -hmm. you know VFX has saved a lot of films mm -hmm. in terms of like being able to still use the actor and mm -hmm. stuff like that do you know yeah, what I mean, I what mean. think about um, what's her name Carrie Fisher I think the girl that plays um, yeah I know what uh what she plays? She plays Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, Leia. Leia Sky. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's right. Leia Organa. Yeah. She plays a uh, Luke Skywalker's um, sister, mm -hmm. and that actor passed away. Yeah. And they were still able to use her in VFX. Yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. Due to the fact that she got scanned for that show. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And wow. yeah. it's it's crazy. Like yeah. act, you can still use actors. Think about Paul Walker. Yeah. Do you know in Fast and Furious, his yeah. brother, his brother obviously did a lot of like the practical yeah, stuff. I they did but that. they used yes, the VFX right. to get his face get on that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. You can do tributes like that with the mm. effects, so that's why I appreciate that aspect. I really love Tron as well. Yeah, Tron, Tron uh, yeah, that, yeah. That, I really like the way that that was quite that was done. Tron, but what the new one or the old one? The like, new one. The new one. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, new, the one. new one with the effects, and I think like it was cool. The light. I liked how it looked. I didn't like the story of Tron. Mm. I liked how it looked though. Yeah, I, I did. That's like what I mean. The, there was an aesthetic. Yeah. Thing yeah. For me. Oh, absolutely. That's me. And absolutely. It was all the LED lights. You got Daft Punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daft Punk doing the music score. Like you can imagine, like you're gonna get that vibe. You got the yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like Tron, Tron, I Tron. That yes. Yeah. When I think it's about the soundtrack, is and aesthetically wise, mm -hmm. it's amazing universe. Yeah. But I just feel like that film they could have done so much better. Oh, what? Yeah, they could have done so, oh, so much better, bro. So much uh, like, like yeah, details. I don't, I don't think it did well at the box office either. But no, it didn't. If it, if if they did it right, that mm. could have been, that mm -hmm. could have been a trilogy mm -hmm. or more, hundred and ten percent. Yeah. Because that universe is so, it's such an amazing mm -hmm. idea and concept. Yeah. That they could have run with, but they just didn't yeah. do it right. Yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, only problem. Yeah. So, what's your thoughts on explosives? Because mm. I think that's kind of one that kind of half blends a little bit between the two, isn't it? Because I know you mentioned like VFX would be things like flying, yeah. things like that. Obviously, things yeah, yeah, that yeah. we know couldn't realistically be achieved. Yeah. But when it comes to the SFX side of things, it's much more the practical. But when we talk about explosives, that's mm. kind of like a little bit of a blend, isn't it? Yeah. To a certain they, extent, they use like, they use explosives for both. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. So like, again, do you think you can, do, you, do you think it's best to have like a, a sandwich of both? Do you yes. Think it's, yeah. Yeah. Use the real stuff when you can. Yeah. It brings an element of realness that just can't be made with the effects. Yeah. yeah. I, it, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Like you can't fake Is it certain the things. It's natural motions of like how things move or projectiles yeah. when they disperse out. It's I like it's like. Cause, I forgot what the concept is called. Mm -hmm. But when you VFX a human being. Mm -hmm. It will never look like a human being, yeah, because yeah, we yeah. see each other and yeah. how our faces move in a certain you can't manner. Can't trick the human eye. You, to exactly, extent, you can't yeah. trick the human eye. But yeah. whereas with Avatar, it will look real with us because they're not humanoids. Uh -huh. yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, you yeah. can never trick the human yeah. eye, and that's the difference. Mm -hmm. I feel like when you know what, that's a great point. Sorry to cut you off, God, no, bro. That reminds me of like. I think the issue certain games have had before. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. in terms of trying to make them too realistic. Realistic. And then certain games that are cartoony work better. Work better. Because, because exactly. Not trying to, to go too realistic. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a good and I feel like the explosive thing, mm. yeah, wherever you can use the SFX, yeah. it's going to make it more realistic. Yeah, so yeah. that's why I said there has to be a balance of both. Okay. If my man's doing something that you, <laughs> you that you practically <laughs> could not do, then yeah, VFX. <laughs> like the African, like the African martial arts. Do you know what I mean? But imagine, imagine, it. It was I a, it. imagine it was a um, Jackie Chan film. Yeah. And it was all VFX. Yeah, nah, it would yeah, be dead. Yeah, it would yeah. be dead. Yeah, you need the but wires, man. You, you, Jackie Chan in his films are good because he performs his own stunts. Yeah. You want to see him yeah. make Donnie those. Yen. Donnie Yen. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Jet yeah. Li. Jet Li. Yeah. All of them, man. Yeah, like, do you know what I'm saying? Stunts. Exactly. It's not a joke. Exactly. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. It's important to have that. Yeah. So because, as I said, because now everything is like. It's almost about tricking the eye. Yeah, yeah. The social media, we're about to step into virtual. Yeah. So these things are coming. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a case of saying, oh, we, we shouldn't have this or we shouldn't have that. I think yeah. it's, for me, I'm all about the fusion. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. 
how can that work? I know you don't want to put that and that together, but like, what, what could happen? Mm. And um, I always say this as well. I, I took a class at uni and it was like a creative thinking strategies class. Yeah. Yeah. Best class I've ever taken in my life because everything else, what it did is it, it, it taught me about how to theorize mm. and then how to turn those theories into actual real things. Yeah. Yeah. So just random thoughts in your head that can come into your head, like, you know, you can brainstorm them mm -hmm. and then you can you can find similarities between literally anything anything and you know once we were sitting down and i realized that it stopped me what thinking about how i can create things like pull that and that together yeah and i just started almost like uh making notes and accounts yeah of my daily life and interactions it helps and then go back and be like oh okay i did that last month how would that blend with that yeah okay I did that how could I switch that up or do that in a different way yeah, yeah. and you start fusing and creating these new different concepts and ideas and I think that's the only real way you can like, evolve out of something that's original Yeah. so like yeah leading on to like you what's your like overall perspective of like just like the industry when it comes to VFX and like how it's used um, how your how, what the working life day to day is like mm. like is it enjoyable is VFX. it stressful is it like what, what I will say like? about VFX it's the newest department in the film industry yeah like yeah. it's only been around for what fifty years, maybe. What I would say, not even that. Not even yeah. Not yeah. even that. It's less, no, less than less that. Than it's less than 30, that. Yeah, 20, maybe. Like, yeah, maybe like thirty. I would say. Yeah. Like, it's a it's a rather new fresh concept. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or, and, or like brought in this. New it's funny thing. because like, yeah. you you know I hear conversations on set and stuff like that of you know like ADs aren't used to this yet and I'm just like but VFX has been around for a minute you know what I mean like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I know so mean. it's that lack of communication yeah. VFX kind of gets pushed to the side and they try to they try to make us last okay. because they don't think it's that important but I see what you mean it's very important for today's day and age I know exactly where you're coming from bro. do you know like, what I mean coming from that photography perspective like, yeah you know I, I had to when I first came back from the States after uni, yeah. you know, I had to go through loads of different phases of working with companies that you're kind of seen as obsolete. Yes. You're like, to a certain extent, it's like, we need you, but then we don't need you. Yeah, yeah. And then they realize uh, it's almost, it's hard to price yeah. sometimes that value in the creativity. Because mm. it's like, you're creating emotions. Yes. You're creating reactions and how people feel to things. Mm -hmm. It's hard to quantify that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, definitely from my perspective coming into like SFX it was like I could see the hands on practical approach to it but it was just so great to see how like you know um, the basics of you know explosives are utilised yeah. how uh, wind rain water yeah. electricity get utilised in shots yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. actually real and yeah. that little um, things that these guys throw up in like a workshop yeah. and just like wow, wow, it was mad, wow. Yeah, yeah. specialists everywhere yeah. so like yeah I think that's the, the unique part about it but attention to detail isn't it I think like, it. It's, it goes a long way man it does it does so Clear Angle Studios man yes like, tell us a little bit more about like what in general you guys do on a day to day so for instance like today I was on a production mm. obviously we come in and we set up our rigs mm -hmm. that we have for scanning yeah and then we will get like you know days where actors mm -hmm. come in extras come in yeah yeah Stunt doubles, yeah, 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 body yeah, doubles. Yeah. You so know, you get to see some. You get to see the cars. We get, get to meet to everyone. everyone. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm fortunate in that sense because it's a really, it's a very um, hands-on job. But mm. you do get to, you do get those moments where yeah. it makes the job what it is. That's like, it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that five hours of work and rendering, and you're yeah. just like, oh, stress, and then suddenly, bang, you're like. <laughs> you just yeah. meet, meet someone really cool yeah like when I'm in the office and when you're building the 3D models it's different yeah. but when you're actually on a production and you know you get to meet these actors and yeah. some of them are legends and people yeah, that you've big, been big watching names. before I was even born yeah man like you know what, what I mean talk. like my parents were watching these actors and <laughs> yeah. now I'm getting the, the opportunity to meet some of them yeah man it's yeah, it's, it's a dream come true man but yeah. what you do realise is that they're just human beings as well man exactly. and some, a lot of them are down to earth and it's really Very, good uh, most of them yeah I, most uh, of them absolutely most of them you get a chance to meet because they just want normal interactions with people as yeah, well yeah, like they yeah. don't want to think be in fan mode or yeah. like feel like they have to like autograph mode should I say yeah <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? yeah, so, yeah absolutely it's in my job role it's definitely one of those that you can't be fangirling or nah, 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 you can't nah, be yeah, fangirling yeah, over them like, nah. that is one thing I got I realised very quickly yes it is a case of like well, I've never kind of been like that luckily because I've been around Me neither. athletes and people like that from yeah. a young age but I, I just knew very quickly it yeah. wasn't those vibes like just don't disturb people don't, don't do it don't waste don't time do don't, don't even ask for those things that you know you may want want to, to exactly ask. just don't don't waste the time you know what like it's not worth it it's not. for the long run do you know what I'm saying? It's exactly. just like don't take the short term success yeah. or short term out. Yeah. For like, Unless like your you know, your higher ups are saying, Oh yeah, 
Do you want a picture? Do you want a, Do you want a picture with this person? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Otherwise, I ain't bringing it up. Like, there's no point. You have to be professional at the end of the day. You know Facts. what I mean? You're you're working with these individuals yeah. now. It's not even like yeah, you yeah. can do that. You are working like you mess up their day. Yeah. They can't perform. Yeah, do you know 100%. what I mean? Yeah. You gotta you're be. Pa- you gotta be piece, considerate. You're a piece of the puzzle. Exactly, you gotta be considerate, man. Yeah, absolutely. Like you wanna, you know, you wanna make sure that they have the best experience. Like mm-hmm. in a way, it's like customer service. Mm-hmm. Well, we we have them for a short amount of time, but mm-hmm. we are providing mm-hmm. something. You know, and we're, we're providing an atmosphere where yeah. we're hosting. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think that's where my like customer service mm-hmm. skills do come in handy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a people able, skills. I'm a people skills. I'm, I'm like that's I'm a people important. person. I yep. can speak to people with yep. confidence. Yep. You know, get build rapport with them you know have the conversations Mm -hmm. and not feel no type of way and you know what Mm. like being in front of like A-star actors and having general conversation is is a is it like a dream man yeah, like yeah, I can imagine, looking back now mm-hmm. I'm like how was I so confident to just speak mm. to this person mm. I was in cinema when I was two watching, watching them, them. Yeah, do you know like, what I mean like, and, now, big screen and now I'm having like a deeper conversation with it it's mm. like man crazy isn't it it's come a long way it, is, it has it is. come a long way but that's the thing you take that in and you absorb that moment innit? and yeah. you're like alright cool this is where I'm at alright yeah, yeah, yeah. then you centre yourself right? yeah. and you're like alright cool this when is you have to be professional you know you just be professional yeah yeah. but okay so so what we kind of established, uh, obviously, for the people is that, you know, the VFX side of things is much more of like the technological, the digital, yes. um, the computing side yeah. of things. And then you've got the SFX, which is a lot more of the, the realistic, the practical, know, the hydraulics, yeah. the, the, um, the, fi- the explosives, the fire, yeah. all of that stuff, uh, the pyro. Mm-hmm. And what I noticed as well is that you tend to find in SFX, always on your feet, moving, shaking and baking. Yes. Not like everyone is on set, yeah. but... Um, you're kind of moved and you're used in so many different areas yeah. you know what I mean like you may need to set up this small little quick little set yeah, yeah. they may need to weld this little bit of metal so like from the outside looking in you probably presume everyone's just doing these cool techie looking like cool artists and directors yeah. everywhere but a lot of the time it's a lot of practicality as well Absolutely. so you know I think that's important for people to realise is that you can just be like a specialist in a trade or a skill yeah. or uh, some form of building or production yeah. to get into the, that SFX route but like speak a little bit more on the, the side of like what it takes to actually get into you know the virtual side of things coming from your art background yeah you know? I mean I was was it like a portfolio what I mean is that was it like a portfolio showcase yeah. or was it more of like these are the skills I bring and then you kind of just adapt it on the fly based on that's what exactly what it is okay, I'm, cool. I'm not gonna lie I'll take my hats off like I was very fortunate yeah. to get the role that I, that I have now yeah. um, obviously I come from a graphic design background and yeah. artistic background yeah. but they really and truly did take a chance with me because mm. it's a very specialist job it's a very niche job yeah. you're not going to come out of uni with a degree in scanning no one has like you know what I mean yeah. so that's why they'd like to take risks with people which is, which is nice of that's them a to be honest yeah. it's a good thing you know what I mean it's, it creates an opportunity exactly that wouldn't be there, that wouldn't be there regardless of yeah. what you've been doing prior to this you know what I mean 100%, so yeah. I, I liked that it was training all on the job yeah. and within I would say six months I was really reasonably confident on most aspects of the job nice. to be honest and you know it is a lot to be honest to yeah. learn like you know building 3D models I never had done 3D art before right. but now I can, I'm able to you know build a 3D model from the scans that we've taken you know what I mean clean them up and get yeah. them to a point where it becomes a deliverable mm-hmm. and pass it on to productions and stuff like that so I feel like you know that you know that in itself mm-hmm. you know it's an amazing feeling yeah, to take man. it from start to finish and yeah. get to see get to put your hands on it yeah I mean in the last year like my skill set has just gone up significantly yeah. do you know what I mean it's yeah. just it goes to show how much you can learn if you're spending a lot of time that's mm-hmm. like going back to our previous thing time spent on investment on you know a skill you can get it's skills so overlooked right it's so overlooked because people think it, they'd, oh, it's time yeah I'll do it I'll get to it and you don't have to go to uni you don't have to go to uni no, 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 keep no, no, telling no, people like there, you don't need to go to uni no 100% no. slap on YouTube mm-hmm. and there'll be, there'll be a someone with a step by step guide yeah, a master class a somewhere. master class somewhere yeah. do you know what I mean yeah, someone, maybe we'll do it exactly you maybe, know what I mean maybe we, should. maybe we could do one man there's <laughs> people that people that are doing it for views we yeah. could do it with our skill sets you know what I mean 100%. like yeah. give back to the people at yeah. the end of the day do you know yeah. what I mean you're getting something out of it they're getting something out of it mm. just go and work with each other it's collaboration yeah. and you get it for free yeah. so you can't and complain and I think that's kind of where the industry is heading obviously just to as we get close to the conclusion of our chat yeah. like that's where I think the, the industry is really heading now. Yeah. it's getting to that point where 
um, diversification of skill sets yeah. is becoming really, really important. Yes. And we're starting to expand into um, the, the niche specialist, like uh, little ingredients of, yeah. of like companies and things and things that people do. Mm. So that now we're not so kind of clustered in this one broad group mm. of society, mm -hmm. which is making it a little harder because it's pros and cons. It's like the, the pro is we're now more expansive, we're yeah. now more creative, we now have more opportunity to create, but mm -hmm. then there's also still that, you know, still trying to figure out how we account for it, how do we finance for it, how yeah, do we, yeah. you know, actually turn it into tangible real businesses. Yeah, 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 yeah. So absolutely. It's that weird little in-between, which yeah. I think, I think we're going to figure out. Yeah, 100%, anyway, it takes people, 100%. Like you said, to collaborate and actually go out of their way, mm -hmm. invest the time, mm -hmm. Don't sit behind the camera screen no. and think that it's all just going to come to me mm. just as I've got all these devices. Yeah, that's just one part of it. That's a, that's a, that's like an accessory. Yes, in your toolkit. Yes, it's just like it's not going to get the job done. Yeah, but it's going to help you if you know you need to screw a few things in to get the job done. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It may, it maybe it's a finishing piece or yeah. whatever. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I just thought it was cool to just bring up this SFX, VFX because it's a good topic. You know, it's a good topic because you worked in things. that and I've worked in it, mm. so. You know, having that, you know, back and forth, seeing what you've seen and seeing what I've seen. Yeah. You know, there's there's a lot of collaboration, yeah. but there is that separation as well. 100%. Do you know what I mean? There's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of chefs in the kitchen. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, there is. There but is. a lot of these chefs don't see each other. You know what I mean? It's Even true. though we're working together, yeah. we're make some, we're preparing some, the same meal. Yeah, it, it's but some we man ain't got, Some man got to do uh, like morning, yeah, brunch, yeah, lunch, yeah. Some man got to go do like the a la carte menu, night shift. Some guys are on nights, <laughs> yeah. doing catering. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm exactly. Like, it's one big like um, culinary see, school. Exactly. And when you see it come creativity. together, it's it's magical, man. Yeah. Like, real talk. No, it, it is. It is. It's it eye opening, and um, for me, it just like it. It extended the levels of what I thought was possible. Yeah. Because it's like, in creativity, and a lot of people from the UK will understand this, a lot of British and creative artists, Yeah, they struggle sometimes to find pocket communities mm. where they can really expand and learn mm. and just like speed up that learning curve. Yeah. And I think coming from the States, I was lucky because I got to go to art school in America yeah. where the mentality is so different. Mm. The willingness to travel further distances for art yeah. is just crazy. And yeah. you think over here, they're like, hey, they're cutting budgets for that. <laughs> they're like, what? Oh, yeah. get that out of here. Yeah. What are you talking about? Like, that's just hypothetical. It's yeah. trying things. Different, Whereas, yeah. really, that's like, the tends to be the source of what businesses like really build off. Mm -hmm. You know, apps, development. You have to be, you have to be motivated. You know what I mean? And the people that have the passion for it tend mm -hmm. to do the best. True. Do you know what I mean? If you're in a if you're in an area or field where you're passionate about something, you know everything on that subject. Right. You yeah. naturally are going to be work. yeah exactly. Naturally, you're going to be the best. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. you're going to want to perform, and when you do perform, mm -hmm. it's usually of a high quality because you've done the research mm -hmm. to get to that point. Yeah. Do you that. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So nah, that's true. That's yeah. true. But now, nah, bro, I mean. Yeah, I think that's a good one for the people then. Just like oh, 100%. Get, get an opportunity to learn a little bit about VFX, SFX good. behind the scenes. And yeah, um, yeah we've got so much more we could get into, but there's Bro. obviously certain things that we, until certain times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to, hey, I ain't blackballing me. Yeah, yeah, next year. It's going to ask me the next year. It's, gonna, it's not coming out till next year anyway. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Like, exactly. We've got time. We've got time. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. But yeah, yeah. yeah these conversations that I said before at the beginning of this, guys, I wanted to. Um, I wanted to um, evolve the platform mm. and I wanted to evolve the, the podcast in itself mm. and really start to bring back on regular people and have a little bit more of a, a deeper dive mm. into who they are. Well, and I'm honoured to be the first person, man. My brother. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm saying, honoured, man. Like, I appreciate obviously, it. Because obviously our conversation is great, but relatively, re relativity is important. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? So when you're working, I think it's important to recognise um, the people that you really blend quite well with in yeah. terms of your skill sets and you can kind of bounce off of each other. Mm -hmm. uh, not to say that you don't have other people that you maybe you're closer with or things like that, mm. but when it comes to art and creativity, particularly where we come from, yeah. you really have to watch out for each other. Each 100%. Other and, uh, give opportunities where they're not there and, you know, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure people already do, mm. unfortunately, it's who you know. Yes. Skills are fantastic. All this stuff we're talking about, creativity, art, that's what, that's that's what we've got in our armor, that's what yeah. we've got in our in our toolkit. Yeah. But the conversation skills, the communication, the willingness to go out and be confident and express who you are. You don't have to do everything by yourself, man. You don't have you, to have all the skills. Don't, yeah. You've got people around you mm -hmm. that would be love to work with you as an individual. Yeah. You just need to find them. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And on, yeah. that, on that note, my brother, yeah. um, 
yeah man this first oh uh, man thanks for having me again episode. man come on man hey. i love being on this man come on hey, many you. more to come many yeah to listen come. listen <laughs> hey keep keep your eyes peeled guys because like as i said we're working behind the scenes on some really interesting projects and yeah i'm telling you guys if you could see the view right now, <laughs> yeah. i might have to just add a little clipping at the end of, oh, 100%. of, uh, of this sunset that we're seeing on the yeah, other side right crazy. now um who knows who, yeah. who knew should i say yeah and you know what i mean it's coming a long way people real talk we're putting Slough on the map. That's what I'm saying. So I hope you're ready. I'm telling you, bro, it's going to be a hot summer. Yeah, yeah. No pun intended. Literally, it's man. It's hot, but yeah. um, nah, my bro. Blessings as always. Showing oh, thank time, you, man. Reggie. And um, yeah, look forward to it. Keep your eyes out. You never know. You might be back on there very soon. Very true. Again. Till next time. Yeah, until <laughs> next time, people. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, share, subscribe. Go follow my guy, Calvin, an amazing yep. artist, doing some incredible things in high places. Mm. Um, so yeah, little little snippets like this to give you opportunity to just highlight who we are, what we're up to, mm. and we're about, we're at him. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. Subscribe, people, subscribe. Subscribe to the team. <laughs> subscribe to the team. Yeah. Appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Love. Peace and love. <laughs>